Welcome everyone to our final build order guide and we saved Angmar for the end here. So starting things off we're gonna have the two hall opener the two hall of the kingsmen opener here and you can transition into well you need a third hall of the kingsmen against goblins and Angmar and later on you can always get a troll and wolf den if you know your opponent is going for like a lot of swords or archers or you just want to kind of surprise them at any moment there also you can get a waldar out waldar is pretty good against mordor elves men and dwarves and you can also go into some black numenorians level up by hall of the king's men and they are pretty useful against men dwarves aizen and angmar and you can just follow it up with whatever you think is good as well so let's uh, get right into it and see what's going on. Alright, we're loaded in. So two mills. Pretty standard stuff. Starting things off. Get that war chance. And right after this, we're going to go jump right into that Hall of the King's Men, the first one. We want to for this build. So we're just going to make it right here. Just like that. Talk it all up. Alright, our third mill is next. As soon as we have it here... Oh, let's make sure they're all 97% like always, just like that. Perfect. And right after this, we're going to make a Thrall Master, make another mill, and then make another Hall of the King's Men. Just like that. Alright, should have it right about now. Pretty good spot right there. Alright, we got this guy out. Yeah, it's up to you if you want to make something right away. I kind of want to just scout a bit here. Keep making Thrall Masters. Always got to keep on making them. And as soon as this is done, we're going to go right into that a second... All of the king's men here. And so, let's see what he's up to. I'm gonna have a scout here. See if we can see anything. Or we can just go attack as well. I mean, why as well? We have another one coming, so... Should always just go attack with the first one. Keep on making these. And our second one. Boom. Protect that mill right here with two of these barracks. Pretty good. Alright, so what's he up to? We can go in as well. Looks like Cav... Uh-oh, we made the wrong unit here. A little bit late on that front. But this guy can go in with some pikes. No problem there. Can we just harass him now. And we're gonna get some more mills here. And then we can always go into like Waldar. We can get some black Numenorians out next. I'm just gonna harass with these battalions. Since he went for Cav, just make some pikes. Keep making guys in the meantime. Just like that, clump up on everything. Alright, we got that all situated up. Also, we can go over here. Yeah, looks like he's gonna attack us with Cav. Not the right thing to do on his part there. Keep on making thralls all the time here. Even mixing some axe throwers now. Just like this. Uh oh. Micro. Alright, these guys need to actually go back in. That was a mistake there. We got a build over here. It looks like he's going way over here. Alright, keep on making pikes and axe throwers for now. We're gonna go into Waldar 
and that way Waldo's gonna be pretty good here because we have all spear throwers or Rudar Spearman and all axe growers, which uh, that's what Hwaldar's leadership applies to. If you make Gundabad orcs, uh, Hwaldar doesn't actually apply to Gundabad orcs, so keep that in mind. We still have our buff there, I mean, we could have used it already, um, but it is fine. We'll just do a big push here, get Hwaldar going. Uh, we need to keep expanding in the meantime, don't forget about that. And we don't even really need Waldar anymore. We've done like a ton of damage back here. And these guys are level 3. But we'll get Waldar out. Do a giant push. And yeah, I mean, we can also just upgrade our Holiday King's Kingsmen right away as well here. Get some black Numenorians going. And you can also get uh, Morgamir as well for the black Numenorians. Morgamir applies his leadership to black Numenorians and dark rangers. But as soon as we get Hwaldar, these guys will have leadership, the entire lot of these guys. He's almost out. These guys have been tremendous back here. Got another build up. Hwaldar's finally out. Get him over here. And then we can wrap this up, get some black Numenorians going. Just like that, keep on making guys. Alright, we're just gonna kind of chilling for now. I just want to get Waldar over here, really. And just do a big attack with our buff, because why not? That's fun. Alright, we keep expanding. We've done a decent job. We should have been creeping as well. Also, you could creep Rudar Spearman. Uh, pretty good for creeping. And in case you have nothing else to do, always creeping is very nice. Now we're just going to buff here. Right click a lot on one spot, just like this, boom, 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 then use it like that. And we're all buffed up. And he's still making calf. Waldar leveling up. We'll take down the stable right away here. Our pikes are still doing some damage. Kind of go around this here, kind of group around that barracks. We still have guys coming. I actually rebuilt it. Look at that cheekiness. Okay. Cheeky cheeky bugger. Alright, let's go around this fort now. Completely. And I mean, we're kind of just memeing a bit here. We have Numenorians now. Should already ended this part of the first build, but uh, I just want to take down that fort, see that victory screen. Just because why not? So we have Gundabad summon as well here. Not like we need it, but. Just use it for the lols. And just like that, that's going to be the first opener. And let's move on to that uh, next one. Alright, moving into our next one. It's going to be the two racks rush. This one's a bit similar to the first one. But you get a, a much faster second hold the Kingsmen. And this is a more aggressive version of the first build. And this one's pretty good against Dwarves, Gobs, and Mordor. You'll get your second Hall of the Kingsmen out a bit quicker, and you can just kind of overwhelm your opponent with a bunch of spam or Thrall Masters really quickly. And also, you can also transition into the same things as the first build. Uh, also pretty similar here, so it should all work pretty well. So uh, let's see it in action. Alrighty, we're back once again, so double mill here. Uh, sometimes my builders don't move at the start. I think it's because my right click is a bit broken now. But that's okay here. Let's do that second or that first Hall of King's Men just like that. Then we're gonna make a third mill. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, to get our third one going here. Build it strong. And then as soon as that is done, we make a Thrall Master, and then right away we make that second Hall of the King's Men. 
And we'll rally across the map here. It's going to be a aggro build. I await the Witch King's command. We finished that one. Angra must grow stronger. All right, make that Thrall Master. And then I'm going to make that second Hall of the King's Men. This one's a bit quicker than the first build. So you can definitely get a lot of units out on the map. And protect that mill again, that starting front mill. This is very protected now. Keep on making Thrall Masters. We're going to be just going out on the map really fast. And get this guy hockey. They're going to sneak on through this uh, general area. And then you can just make a bunch of Thrall Masters here, even expanding whenever you have the monies and uh, let's get a good to bad warrior squad here we could even move up a little bit more but i just wanted some vision here before we summon some good to bad all right looks like he's also coming with something we can attack here buff to get it down quicker and then half trolls eye okay we need more guys out now half trolls are very tanky Alright, get some axe throwers now, because we're gonna need them against those half trolls. Just like that, move these guys around. Keep on making guys, we need a mill ASAP. But we need to clean those guys up. These guys are still buffed, so they're pretty good here. Our buildings. Alright, good enough here. We have a big force now coming over to his base. Just like that, these guys are still doing some nice work. I'm gonna go to his base now. We need that mill ASAP. We're gonna be supply capped here. Yeah, we should have made that mill a while ago. Because now we're command capped. It looks like he's gonna be fighting us here. We're gonna micro away. Make sure our Thrall Master is protected a bit. As Angmar, if you lose that Thrall in the back, you lose your whole entire battalion. So you gotta be careful playing as Angmar a lot of the times. And so we pretty much won this here. This is a pretty simple build. Pretty effective as well. It's quite nice indeed here. Also, you can also follow this up with anything from the first build. A Troll and Wolf Den. A Black Numenorans, whatever. But against Gobs, you want a third Hall of the King's Men in this matchup. So we'll make that third one. And continue that spam. But we already might pretty much won this. Let's get on that Fisher now. Keep on making guys in the meantime. And making those additional mills for the command limit. Just like that. Get that third Hall of the King's men all set up. And now that's pretty much the build here in a nutshell. Once again, you can get whatever you feel like. Waldar, Morgamir. A troll and wolf then. Um, you can tech up to rangers if you want to. Dark rangers, Numenorians, Morgamir, Waldar. Troll and wolf then if you feel like you need some wolf riders against goblins. And uh, you can also level this up, get some snow trolls, some hill trolls going. Snow trolls are pretty good. And yeah, that's pretty much this build once again. Pretty nice indeed. And uh, yeah, let's move on to that next one for that third build. Our next build is going to be the one Rax Rush. So I'm going to be going for that mill into that barracks and doing a bit of a rush. And with this one, I mean, it's a rush. Pretty good early on. Try to keep uh, catch your opponent off guard. And uh, this one could be followed up with either a Troll and Wolf Den, which is good against Men of the West, Elves, and Aizen. Or a, another uh, Hall of the King's Men, which is pretty good against all other factions. So let's see this one in action. Alright. Once again, we're going to do that mill and then the Hall of King's men this time around for that rush. 
just like that. I'm going to be going across the map here as soon as we can. And get that second mill going. Rally that over there. And as soon as this is up and ready, I'm going to make that Thrall Master ASAP. Boom. And then once that is done, is ready. we actually want two Thrall Masters for this one. Don't build that third mill yet. Queue up a second one. We want two. It's a rush, so we gotta rush them. Uh, this is the risky part here. You gotta do some damage because, I mean, we're gonna be low on eco for a bit here because we don't have that third mill up and running. And this is why, I mean, this is why it's a rush. You gotta sacrifice eco to make this happen. And if you fail, then you're behind. If you succeed, then you're either even or ahead. Depending on how well you succeed here. So let's get that guy over here. Get this guy over here. And this time we're going to scout him out. See what he does first. Keep on making thralls. Don't know what he's up to right now. The thrall vision is so bad. Let's make some Gundabads. We can even buff them up here a bit. Make that third mill there, the fourth one. In the meantime, we're just going to be all over his base. Behind his base here. Going to pick off all of these Malorns. Just like this, keep the pressure going. It's a rush, so we succeeded already. This was a real game. We've already done quite a bit here. And next, we're going to go into that troll and wolf den. Since we're against elves. It's a little bit better here in this case for that troll and wolf den. Looks like he's over here. Make some thralls. Or some axe throwers. Looks like he's going to be buffing himself there. He might get that mill of ours in that case. Build him. Let's get that build him. Chase. We're doing quite a bit of damage here in the back. Let's clump up a bit better here. Boom. And we did take that out, but that's fine. We can keep on the attack. We can also be creeping in the meantime here. For instance, we're going to do that right now because we lost that mill. We need to get some eco back. So we're going to creep. In that case. These guys are still there. Builda. Builda. Went down. And this time around, let's rebuild this. Just like that. Send these guys in. Send these guys behind. Another Builda. But we don't want to aggro the fort. Keep on going behind here. Looks like archers are here. That's why we're going to have some wolf riders. Just like this. Just warp in some wolf riders. No problemo. Micro a bit around that thing. And we have some wolf riders now. These guys are doing work. And just like that, we're going to catch him off guard. He went archers. We went wolf riders. And he's doomed. Boom. That's why wolf riders are pretty good. In this case. I mean, you warp them in right away. They're quite versatile. Since you can warp them in. We can also get some wolf packs. They're good against pikemen. Keep creeping. In the meantime. And uh, we should have been expanding a bit more here. We had the money. Now we got some money. We recuperated a bit for that mill that we lost. And uh, once again, you can get some heroes going here. Waldar is pretty decent. Uh, Morgamir, you can get some more Hall of the King's men. Uh, make something happen with that. You can upgrade these. Get some Dark Ranger, uh, Dark Rangers eventually. Uh, also, Snow Trolls are not too shabby at all. 
get some of these doggos. Make sure you always buy the heavy spike collars. Uh, they're pretty bad without this upgrade, so always get this no matter what. It's always worth it for these doggos. And just like that, I mean, we're pretty much one here. Um, yep. Against elves, I don't know, you build... Dark Rangers are pretty good against elves because you can uh, get those Dark Rangers here to level 2 with the banners. Then they will have long shots. Then all you have to do is use Bell Wind. Use long shot first. Say, for instance, you use it here. Then you just use Wind right after and you can like pretty much... Um, wipe out his whole entire army because if they're elves they usually clump up a lot and that's pretty good also snow trolls are fairly decent here and uh yeah that's gonna be this build just keep on creeping keep making guys we're not making really we're floating a lot just just because we're talking a bit here keep expanding make a lot always get this upgrade for the doggos and um yeah let's move on to the next one Moving into our next build, it's going to be the Wolf Rider Rush. So with this one, you go into that Hall of the King's Men and right away, you go right for that Troll and Wolf Den. That way, you'll have access to Wolf Riders and you'll be able to defend yourself pretty well. Also, you can also attack with them. And then you'll also be having access to the Dire Wolves, so you can keep making those. They're good against Pikes. And you can just do a pretty good solid attack from that point on. You'll have a nice a solid composition very early on. And it's a pretty good one. So let's uh, see it in action. This one's good against Men of the Elves. Or Men of the Elves. This one's good against Men of the West, Elves, or Aizen. But it can also be used against anything, to be fair. It's a pretty good one. So let's check it out. Alright, once again, 97's here. Grabbing a war chant. Got the war chant going here. And gonna be going right into that Hall of the King's men. Just like that. This one's a pretty nice one because, once again, You'll have access to very quick wolf riders, and if they attack you with swords, you can make uh, quick work of them. And it's fairly defensive, while also it's pretty aggressive as well, it can be. So, I'm gonna make a thrall here. Boom. And we're also going to be making a 4th mill. Alrighty, let's get that 4th mill going here as soon as we possibly can. Got that thrall coming along here. We can actually scout with this guy. See what we can do. Make another one right away. And then right after this guy is done, we'll make that troll and wolf den. With this builder. So that's going to be... 500 resources. Not researches. 500 resources. <laughs> researches. Okay. All right, get this thing going here. Protect this up and well. Not sure what he's coming with here. Looks like some swords. So that's a perfect opportunity there. If he's coming with swords, we're going to be surprising him here with this build. Keep on making these. And we can just go here. If he comes to our base, we'll have a thrall out. And we'll have those wolf riders out as well. So it all adds up pretty nicely. And there we go. We have our 
scroll on wolf then and this is perfect because he's going for swords and archers so we're gonna be actually doing a lot here he's in our base but look at this boom baby let's get those wolf riders going just like that and look at that no chance of even doing damage to us he did buff here we can buff ourselves to actually clean them up a bit quicker because it'll take forever to actually clean them up without a buff and now we have two battalions out make some dire wolves in the meantime don't forget about these guys and just like that we have a big force here eh. get one guy going back this guy can finish these get some dire wolves going and look just like that expand a little bit uh, low on eco and just like that we got a nice push going here with this build very defensive very aggressive as well like i said it's a pretty good one as ingmar yeah he has pikes now so i mean just don't engage them forehead there we go And like that, we're just be harassing all over the place. He has these pikes, but we're making dire wolves, which are going to be good against the pike. Don't fight these guys, just leave. We have these guys coming, make spike collars on them. Looks like we sent a thrall to his demise on accident. Alright, we're just going to skirt around those guys. And we have these guys here. We should keep making. Look at these dire wolves, they can go right on those pikes. And with those Gundabads as well, the pike's gonna be no problem uh, whatsoever. We got a builder. Builder going down. And just like that, look at that. They're doing a ton of damage there. Lots of damage. Just like that. Get those spike collars always. And yeah, I mean, pretty much we've already are victorious here. Didn't lose anything. And we cleaned up his push there with those swords. So pretty good indeed. Direwolves are pretty weak against archers, so keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, don't do that. Like uh, what just happened there. <laughs> keep an eye out on your wolf riders, because that's very, very important. But that's going to be pretty much this build. That's a pretty good one. I like this one a lot. And it works pretty well against most things. And we have a level 5 thrall. No, run. Run, you fool. Oh, we lost him. But that's fine. Pretty much got this in the bag. And, uh, I mean, once again, I don't know. You can follow this up. More Hall of the King's Men. Heroes. Upgrade this. We got Hill Trolls, Snow Trolls, Dark Rangers, Numenorians. Uh, we can get whatever upgrades as well later on with that forge. And yeah, just have fun with it, buff up, and uh, let's move on to that last and final build. And see you guys in a second. We saved the best for last. This one's a bit more of a fun one slash meme build. Uh, it can still well work. I mean, it definitely can work pretty well, but it's more of a fun one, more of a meme kind of build. But, uh, I mean, yeah, that's what it is. It's a fun one. <laughs> but it can also work pretty well as well, depending on what happens. You can definitely catch your opponent off guard with this one. So uh, let's get right into it and see it in action. All right, we're loaded on in. It's again. Build up. My right click is kind of messed up. Didn't go up fast enough there, but that's fine. So we kind of upped the notch on the AI a little bit, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And we'll see what we can make happen with some sorcerers. This one's going to be a bit uh, weird, because we're going to be rushing the sorcerer uh, quite quickly here. So we won't have too much to uh, defend with. We'll definitely be on the back foot. It's more of a defensive build. 
You really can't be aggressive here with this one. You gotta play very defensive until you can get those sorcerers going. And then once you have them up, get Well of Souls, maybe some Corpse Rain. Corpse Rain, my favorite. All right, get a Thrall going. Get another mill as well. Get over there. Build it strong. Angmar must grow stronger. All righty, get these thralls going. And we got one more coming. After that, we'll make the Twilight Council. We'll chill here for now. See what he makes. See what he comes with. And what's the hockey if my tea for me here? Let's make this. Boom. You never saw that coming, huh? A Twilight Temple of Twilight. Twilight Council Rush here. We're just chilling here. We're kind of waiting to see what he comes with. Before we make anything. Keep on making guys because we gotta defend. And as soon as we get that out, I'm gonna make that sorcerer out. Or get that sorcerer going. Looks like pikes. Okay, I'll make a Gundabad and an axe for a battalion. And attack him. Get sorcerers going. I'll have the buff here as well since he did. More axe throwers here. I'm gonna body block him a bit with that summon. Bum, 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 bum. We got that sorcerer coming quickly here. Well, of souls, we need level two, so that's quite expensive. We can creep in the meantime to help get us that quicker. Just so we have like stuff here we can use. We can soul freeze people. Creep here and then level this up to level two, the Twilight Council. Uh, keep on expanding. And we'll have these guys level 2 soon enough. That way we can use Well of Souls. It's also a very good one. Come on, Megan Thralls. Can't uh, lax on that production. Well of Souls is going to be W for me. And it's 400 to research this. These are... This is so expensive, by the way. This, uh... This build here. Well of Souls, we can use it now. Just like that. Make another Sorcerer Battalion. And this way, look at these. We have some whites. Oh yeah. We like some whites. We like those whites. Indeed. Look at these whites. Go. We have a lot of whites. Let's move out now, get these sorcerers. Do we have Well of Souls back up? I mean, look at this. Isn't this just fantastic? Having these whites. Such a nice build. Keep expanding here. The whites are still here. They're going to expire, sadly. Sad face. But we have an army worthy of Aingmar, worthy of the Witch King himself. I also kind of want to research into some Corpse Rain action here. Because <laughs> I love me some Corpse Rain. That's another 750 to research. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Cav. Ouch. No. Our precious. Don't go after our precious. Oh my goodness. He's going all out with the Cav. <laughs> he rally called one guy. Let's get these guys going in here as well. We're gonna get some corpse rain with those. We can be using Well of Souls here too. 
or kind of chilling. Oh, ho, ho, corpse rain, that's 500. 500. Alright, let's not do that. Let's get corpse rain. Cool. Uh oh. We need more guys over here. Let's get these guys. Let's do wall of souls on this guy. Get some whites going. No more horsemen. Look at all these whiteies. Oh yeah, let's go in. We have some corpse ray in action as well. We're gonna make a forward racks here because we need some more guys. And the whites are doing some nice work. And by the way, we do have corpse ray, and so guess what? Uh, nothing yet. Uh oh. I can't really use this on anything too well right now. We can use it right now. Just use it for the memes. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. He actually dodged it a bit there, but... We can use Well of Souls. Run, sorcerers. Look at the whites go, man. Well of Souls is so good. Make more guys at all times. Uh oh. Need some pikes. We can use Well of Souls once again. Like spamming it out. The whiteys are chilling. Look at them go. We do have Corpse Rain again, but nothing to really use it on. <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, even this was a hard AI, not a uh, little bit of a harder AI, but still, like, even insanely easy compared to Brutal. But going from hard to Brutal is, like, not even funny, it's, like, not even close to just, like, the biggest leap ever. It goes from being easy to just annoying to, to like, pretty challenging, actually. Because they spam out a lot and brutal. So that's pretty much the build here. I mean, we made this work pretty nicely. We can, like, I don't know. We don't have anything to well of soul. We can corpse rain the fort for the memes. I don't think it really does much to buildings, does it? Nah. Barely does anything. Sadly. We can freeze the builder or something like that, maybe? I don't know. Use that. Build them, take that. We can corpse rain the build. -a. Oh yeah, build. -a. Uh oh, these guys are going in. Look at that. Whoa, it doesn't do anything to the build. -a. Can I well of souls him? Get a white. Oh yeah, we got a white. Alright, let's go in. Get some land action for leadership here. Use Wall of Use everything over here. Yeah, Wall of Souls not gonna do anything there, but can use uh, Corpse Rain. Nah, it doesn't do much against buildings either. Build a. Use Well of Souls. Oh yeah, some sorcerer memes. Oh yeah, and he's going down bit by bit. And he's actually attacking us with peasants. Yeah, that's gonna give us some nice well of soul action here. Probably don't have enough sorcerers here, sadly. That 40 upgraded it. <laughs> it's so tanky. Alright, I mean, that's pretty much gonna be the fun build here. I wanted to take down the fort, but he upgraded it, so it's gonna take a lot longer than I thought. And, I mean, that was pretty fun, though. Sorcerer action here. 
He has these peasants all over the place. It looks like he went for those ends. He lost the rack, though. And, I mean... That's gonna be it, I think. That's gonna be the final guide for this series. Hope you guys enjoyed all of those build order guides. Uh, we finally made it to the end for the Angmar. If you guys enjoyed this content, uh, please consider leaving a like and subbing. And I'll see everyone next time for some... Uh, I'm not sure, maybe... I don't know. Uh, feel free to suggest anything you want in the comments. Whatever you feel like you want to see. Any more guides or anything like that. Just uh, feel free to tell me and I'll get right on that. Maybe, hopefully. And I guess we'll have some brutal stuff next time for some more content and yeah hope you guys enjoyed all of this and um take care guys stay safe and i'll see you guys next time